All right. Afternoon, buddy. How are you doing? Good afternoon, buddy. I'm I'm sorry if I uh sorry if I sound a little uh mellow. I have been uh, napping because I was unaware how close screen time it was. Hmm. But we're here. We're awake. We're we're doing things. We're doing good things. Oh, we don't have our old armor. Why not? Oh, Okay, well, we have to... Oh, that's gonna be badly. Well, we no longer have to recover some of our HPs. That's a thing. Now we're back to having that. Something. I feel like we definitely had this stuff. We definitely had the gold armor. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure of that. I'm very confused as to why we don't have it. I must not have saved something. You mother...
You know what's right down here? Fortunately, don't have the HPs. Hey, Trashman Streams, how you doing? Uh, I apologize if you've been waiting for very long. Um, we're just sitting here right at the end of Mega Man X3. Ah. Oh, oh. Uh, and I'm trying to get that gold armor. I know I got it before the end of my last stream, but for some reason, I don't want fuck it. But for some reason, it didn't save it. Unfortunately, this also means I need to beat a number of different things that I did last time. But I think I'm in a little bit better position. stages, I don't think it saves. Uh, that's probably fair. Uh, but that means that I have that I have to... See, it did in previous Mega Mans. Like, it did in Mega Man X and X2. Um, X3? I don't know if it does, and I just didn't do the proper save, or uh, if it doesn't, and I did, but that means I start over every time. Oh. oh. Oh, you're gonna let me go! I don't know why I'm so bad at dodging that particular attack. always check it now, but I don't think so. I think we're just gonna try and rush to the end. See what we can do. Honestly, I have no idea why I want the uh, gold armor so badly. Because, like, the only real upgrade about it that I use is the double dash. You motherfucker. <laughs> I got so caught up in trying to dodge that missile.
Oh no, that's a mistake. <laughs> I tried to do the uh, up dash to see if it was faster. It is definitely not. <laughs> to be fair, like I don't play this game. This is this is not. Um, I've never actually gotten this far in this game. Like, I, yes, I played it when I was younger, but I never beat it. Like, all of this is new to me. Although this part, obviously, is not new because I was just further a second ago, but, you know. armor allows you to have all the chips. Yeah, exactly. But the only one that I actually use is the multi-jump. <laughs> the rest of them, I, I know that one of them, like, reduces my... I know one of them reduces the uh, damage I take, so I guess I do use that one, too. But, like, I don't use the chip that, that increases the shield after I get hit, really. Um, and I don't even know what the others do. Why that didn't let me do the double dodge, I'm not sure. Interesting that this exists. All right. Well, let's see what this is. Right, right. This guy. I really wish I had beat these guys with their appropriate weapons earlier in the game because I don't like having to fight them here. And I suspect I'm going to have to fight Vile as well. Damn it. Ow! 
Damn it. <laughs> I think Ray Splasher is the boss's weakness. Uh, probably. I mean... It doesn't really matter if I beat them with their weakness now. But if I had beat them with their weaknesses earlier in the game, they don't show back up here. Now, I don't know what I would wind up fighting in its place, or if the fight just ends or something. Like, I don't know what happens instead. Now, that's interesting. I think for a frame there, I think it keeps switching back and forth between me having and not having the gold armor. It with its the level just ends. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then it goes off the screen and just disappears, and never comes back. Oh well. I'm used to that with uh, Mega Man games, that's just how they do. Also, this just looks like the dumbest enemy. It occasionally just looks like I don't have the gold armor. And I find that so interesting. I don't know if it was doing that before and I just noticed it. Here. I'm gonna take something because it means that any damage I take doesn't translate to me. said Ray Splasher? Let's give it a shot. I don't even know what most weapons in this game do, if I'm being honest. I beat everything so slowly. Because I'm not familiar with the game. This is making it much, much easier. Well, that was much simpler. Thank you very much, Trash Man. I appreciate it so much.
So I guess I just walk into this room and teleport out? Like, it, uh... It would make more sense if the level sh ended after a mid-boss or something if there wasn't going to be a final boss. Nothing else to do. Keep going. Damn it, that wasn't high enough. Damn it. Oh, you little prick. more hit and it would have been dead. And also, I just want to reiterate, I am not good at these games. I just enjoy them. I just want to be clear about that. I, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm taking tons of damage that I really don't need to. Yeah, I just enjoy it. I just love it. It's not... Okay, that's an empty room. Yeah, I did beat somebody. Yeah, I don't have to fight Vile. damage, I don't care. Oof. Oh, no. I think the boss is weak for spinning blade one and spray splasher for base two. I don't know. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck yourself. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. It's the boomerang looking one. I love the music in these games, by the way. I don't think, yeah, that doesn't leave. Really Motherfucker! <clears throat> Pardon me. 
That's a big empty room. Oh, hey, I do get to fight Vile. Yes, I want to kill Vile. doesn't feel like a weakness. Don't be afraid. And this is only hitting for one. But it really matters because boom. And for this, a Rave Splasher? Give it a shot. See what happens. Ah, right. Phase one is Parasitic Bomb. No worries. Yeah, I appreciate any help, man. Alright, let's try this again with P-Bomb. Get out. There we go. There we go. There we go.
All right, no problem. That was a lot easier. Gotcha. Don't think this is the end, Dex. I will ha haunt you to the day you die. Even past the, the day you die, but several times. <laughs> I mean, it's strange for a, a robot to come up with the idea of haunting. They really did emphasize in this one a lot more than in X1 or in X2, uh, having the elemental weak. For an X2, I almost never use. Oh, this is another one of these. They reused this trope from uh, X2. Oh, fuck, what was this one? Oh, I don't remember. Acid? Well, that didn't go very well. Yeah, the boss rush stage. Oh, gravity well? Huh. That makes sense, right? I remember this. It was way too easy. That was a uh, neon tiger's uh. Probably. Oh, this time there's no health around the stage. Oh, this is some bullshit. Okay, that's how they did it, right? Gotcha. I wish I remembered more of these weaknesses. Okay, he was... A p -bomb.
No, thank you. Okay. Some of these I can kind of figure out or remember. Other ones, I'm so lost. And this sucks because I am bad at the bosses of this game. Hey, who we up with next? Fish, I think that's the bang. That's not so bad. Especially once you have all the weapons, it's pretty easy to kind of just figure out what works. I do like that they have additional effects. It's not just they do double damage. Cause that was that was a frustration in some of the earlier games. There were only a few where they actually did something. Oh fuck. Uh I have no idea. Try the frost on him. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I think that did it. That was easy. <laughs> he, he cocked that one up pretty well. Really, it just came down to I couldn't remember any enemies that I beat with this throughout the main game. I'm like, well, it has to be something I didn't use. All right, what's up next? Oh, I remember you. You use Spin Blade.
Okay, that was almost all my spin blades, but that's okay. I don't like this stage. I, I really liked the way they did it before better, where there was three of the normal bosses. What was the... Under? Maybe. Alright. Go, go, go! I'm glad I had that one right. Because <laughs> I do not like him. He grabs me a lot. And no, no, do not touch me in the bad place. Come on, give me more health. No! Oh no. Also. What do I need for you? Acid? I think you're acid. Big pinch. Or not wrong. Do not like it. Now please. Need the health. Need the health. Nope, that is not health. That is health, but only one, and then you fucked me over. Boy. And then. Uh, what do you need? You need... Uh, uh. He splasher? Okay. 
So far, I've managed to not die. I appreciate this very, very much. No, that's, that's not what I need. That's what I need, but I needed more than one. Okay, so that's one, two, four. I think that's everything. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's everything. Uh, nobody liked these in two. Why'd you add them to three? Oh dear God! Wrong way! Wrong way! Wrong way! Upler's weakness is acid. That's a weird weakness. Is this? Am I already to Doppler? Apparently, yes! I've been waiting for you, X. I'm Doppler. I've been watching your battles closely. Your victories over my men have been most impressive. I need superior reploids like yourself, X. I offer you the chance to join us. Together, we shall build a utopia where the reploids rule under the watchful eyes of Sigma, our lord and master. Uh, the magic word. No way, Doc. Schemes end here and now. Perhaps you are not as smart as I once thought, or maybe you aren't. Care to be ripped apart and to be born again as part of the new body of Sigma. Or what? Okay, acid. really does not feel like a weakness. How do I stop him from healing? He's healing a lot. Oh, okay, so I need to not hit him when his web's up. Gotcha. Gotcha! <laughs> I think you like that, but it also pissed me off that Dr. Light made Mega Man everything from Robodog to a Robo Sister. Not once considered 
Auto repair system, yes! Yeah, he baits me really hard. You are strong, X. Strong enough to defeat Sigma. Doppler, can you talk? Sigma's true form is that of a computer virus. It was once corrupted by him, and... It created a horrific new body for him. Where is the body now? Underground hangar of this lab. I don't think Sigma has occupied it yet. Don't worry about me. Destroy the body before it's too late. I wasn't worrying about you! Time is running out. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Sigma stage. Oh, yeah, his, his baiting me is really annoying. Oh, also, since you're here, I can throw up some Stream Raiders. We'll be, we'll be, putting down like All right, last stage. Well, there's a there's a body. Hello. Zero. I'll go ahead and destroy the power generator. Next, you go upstairs and destroy Sigma's body. Hey, thanks for telling me. No, let me go this way. I don't like this. Oh boy. These are spinning blade and face the buster. I would have succeeded if it if you hadn't interfered. We are always destined to meet, aren't we, X? Let the eternal struggle begin. Ah! This is some bullshit! Oh, I do not like this fight! Oh my god! Oh, this fight is bullshit. This is absolute garbage! Oh my god! I cannot beat this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this at all. Yeah, um... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I might lose entirely. 
Uh, let's see, where's a good place to fill up something? I think here. Yeah, there's there's nothing here. Already gathered everything. Switches to the other side on top of the wall in double air dash your way over. While on the wall using two blades, they boomerang. You just have to slide down the wall a bit. Either way, unless he's firing, you have to hit for the shield board. I could have done this on any level. I also need lives. So if any of y'all know a good place to farm that, having nine lives would make this a lot easier for me to get in the group. Sometimes I've almost got full from doing this. So this th I don't think the stage really matters much for pulling this up. Oh, 
all my healing. would help if I didn't suck. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, once I get into a rhythm, man, like, having four people in a row isn't really going to make much of a difference except for make me take, spend longer killing. I had weapon tanks too. Not that it's usually necessary. There we go. Alright, after you get inside the ship to the rightmost edge with the walls, you can all Rhino's weapon. the right thing, right? Yeah, I think this is crushed crawfish. I hate these things. Fuck yourself. Nobody likes those. Please stop. like it's the right thing.
Whoever's is in from the left corner. And I think I'm in the wrong state. Yeah, I was in this guy. Maybe. Yes, yes, I know. Fuck off. There's nothing here. the ship to the right most edge. Yeah, it's actually not. Yeah. that I need to pick those things up, but... Okay, so... Uh... Get on the ship. Right. I gotcha. Just get a few lives. Figure out what we're doing. Stop! Stop activating that! We don't need it! That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Oh well. Okay. Oh, bitch. Watch that poor right armor. Yeah. Oh well.
six, so two more runs. Two more runs and we'll be good. Filling up all of our tanks and abilities and making sure we come at this with 100%. Uh, this, this kills me. No need. <laughs> to turn me around. Oh. It would be nice if this was a little faster, a little closer to the beginning of the stage. Kind of like, uh... In Mega Man X1, Armored Armadillo had a uh, a retro Batfink dude. Uh, one of the old style that have the shells on the outside. From like OG Mega Man. And um, and that one had like a, a I think like a 60% chance to uh, had like a 60% chance to spawn a life. Beetle has life ups to the elevator section. They don't know how far into the stage that is. Yeah. But we're at a point where it's one more run. Like, oh well. But that one you could farm. Like, you didn't have to keep entering and exiting the stage because it had like a 30 or 40% chance to drop a life. You just sit there, respawn that one bat, and farm all the lives you need. Yes, yes. Very pretty. Also, I did not know this um, prior to my playing it, but apparently um, in Mega Man X, trigger for seeing the um, the trigger for seeing um, the Hadouken capsule show up. It was seeing the platform six times. I didn't know that you didn't have to die, that you didn't have to stay in the level. I, I thought there was a lot of prerequisites that it turns out all fake.
All right, and that's nine lives. So we shall never get more full of fullness than we are right now. I do like the fact that they don't have anything that's a one-hit kill. Like, that was kind of cheaty. Yes, thank you, Zero, for this very interesting cutscene that you tell us every time that we come. Okay. This is much easier and cheatier. <laughs> I have no problem with being cheaty though, because this is bullshit without this ability. Oh dear god, no! <sighs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, dude, no. But this isn't even my final form. Listen, if he's gonna be the cheese whiz, you gotta be Velveeta. It's creamier, delicious option. Anonymous with class, like your dad not beating you with a power cord. <laughs> well done, X, but I'm far stronger than my previous forms. Yeah, no kidding. Behold the power of the ultimate battle body. Oh, this some bullshit. Get the teriyaki beef with that little video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh dear God. No. No. Ooh. Oh no, 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 no. No. Okay, so I still have to hit him in the head. This, okay. This one isn't nearly as cheaty, though. Like, I feel like I can beat this one. Or I did not feel that way about the previous.
All right, sounds like we've got um. All right, let's get this started. Looks like you guys are gonna be carrying this because I had no idea where the enemy was gonna start. Oh yeah, guys. And that's the show! Like somebody gets a paladin? Got a buster? Wish I could give you guys more of this. It looks like I got the main. Alright, let's try. Go with. Gathering. Alright, I'm gonna actually try this mage. Echo. Wait, there. <laughs> Aim high at the red things poking up from his shoulder. Signal follows a very repetitious pattern. On the left wall to gain height needed to hit his head. And when he starts flying, drop down, dash under him, and climb. Yeah, I figure it's Okay, there we go. Now I'm fully full, fully, fully full, 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 full.
Gotcha. Can you hide the red things? Okay. Left wall to gain height. Get his head. It's flying left, drop down, dash under him, grab the climb, climb right wall. Destroying his own stuff. Up my pattern. Did that not hit his head? Just barely! 
Just barely. Oh, I was nervous. Is that the end? Did I get him? No, it can't be. I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body. There seems to be only one choice now. I'll possess you. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this again. Oh, dear God. Wait, what? Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, that I failed horribly. That was so bad. That was garbage! And I can't even control! Damn, it's a dead end. Hey, the balls to say damn back in this age. Haha, <laughs> give up, X. I'll possess your body and rule the whole world. Please, no? Gah, you're zero! It's you, again! How do you like that, Sigma? Picked up an anti-Sigma virus program from Toppler. <laughs> and used it on my beam saber. Sorry about the delay, X. I thought the program might be the only thing that would work against Sigma. My program is disappearing. But someday, I will... Are you kidding? Like, I can fail that that badly and still win? Like, man... Oh man, that's rough. Stretch, okay, I'm gonna do that while it's while we're watching this uh, end scene because it seems like um, seems like that's definitely an actual legitimate end scene. Oh, oh, oh man, all these pops. X has crushed Sigma's plan once again. Yes, plan, because there's only one. Many questions still occupy his mind, as they do after every single version. Why must humans fight against Reploids? You know, the same thing he asks every time. And why must Reploids fight against each other? I mean, why must humans fight against each other? It's not like any of us are any better. X stares at the burning remnants of Doppler's lab. His body trembles from an unknown sorrow. Which isn't very unknown, like, we're, we're pretty clear on the fact that X loses. What does fate have in store for me, he wonders. You can only hope that someday Doctor's Light, Dr. Light's plan for him will finally be... Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. Yes, he loses. Why would you ask that? Why do you not like me? To save mankind, he must destroy Zero? What? But only time will tell when and why. Ah, uh, what? Like, I get it, like... Okay, so... Prophecy supposedly says that Zero is supposed to wind up serving Sigma, but... Like, there's no actual evidence that this is ever going to happen! And it's because Zero is a wily bot, inevitably. Yeah, I know he's a wily bot, but clearly he has some sort of self-determination. Like, I mean, yes, he is, he's clearly the, the, the descendant, the, 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 the end of the Proto-Man series. But like, so what? He, he he has free will and he is acting within those bounds. 
And is he a Wily bot? Like, was he actually... Um... <clears throat> was he actually built by Dr. Wily himself? Because that would mean that both Mega Man, uh, both X and Zero came from previous generation. It does, but eventually the Wily virus, which becomes the, which becomes the Sigma virus, turns into the Zero virus. He has free will, but Wily is, well, he's Wily, has a timed virus bomb. Oh yeah, X and Zero were built, built at the same time. Okay, fair enough. So why is it that Zero woke up earlier? Also, more arbitrary PowerPoint numbers. Like, I don't understand these arbitrary PowerPoints. This is the same thing they did at the end of X2. And I'm not sure what these, what these PowerPoint numbers are supposed to represent. Um, however, I can say that they seem roughly in line with the same ones at the end of X2, and that seems stupid because it means that they're all, all kind of the same strength, which means either, either the Sigma at the end of X2 is a chump, or all these bosses, like, or, or I, I can't even explain otherwise, either Sigma at the end of X2 is a chump, no, 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 because he's demonstrably more powerful than the Mavericks of X2. Because Sigma found Zero first. Yeah, Wily was definitely not as meticulous with his ethical programming as Dr. Light. X was not allowed to wake, wake up until he was 100% human to safe. Fair enough, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, Sigma... So I'm curious about Sigma. Um, like, where, like, when did he come from? Because it almost seems like he comes to be. Well, no, Sigma wasn't a hero. The Maverick Hunter that Sigma inhabited was a hero, and I can't remember what his name was. But it wasn't Sigma. I don't think. I need to really dive into the lore of this game. Sigma was infected by the Wily virus when he woke up zero. And then it morphed into Sigma as a virus? Like, so if Sigma hadn't been infected, we'll just call him Sigma, even if he's not. Uh, so if, if, if Sigma, as we know him, had not woken up Zero and he died, would he then have become a virus? Like, would he have been able to do this same body jumping thing, but been a good guy? Yeah, I know he was the leader of the Maverick Hunter. I did know that. And I know he was a hero. Uh... End of it? Have an after credits scene like the, both the other games did? No, it's not the end. No, it's not... But no, he wouldn't have been able to do the body jumping. Or no, there's not an after credits scene. I really don't want to have to beat this again. That was a pain in the ass. Yes, but maybe no. I think ethical constraints would have kept him from it, but I don't know if the body jumping is innate or due to the virus. Okay, that, because that's a good question. Um, if the body jumping... Like, otherwise, he could just have another body built for him. Even as a good guy, he could just have a second body built for him, jump out of his body, Inhabit the new body without any 
ethical constraint. I mean, what really stops a Reploid from doing that to begin with? Why could Reploids not just keep a backup of their uh, of their consciousness? Technically, he is a Reploid and his programming has to be transmittable somehow. Right, that's what I'm getting at. Like, why can't all these Reploids do that? Why can't they just, tell, uh, tra uh, you know, transmit their consciousness into some sort of storage device? And even though their body is destroyed, they can keep coming back forever. Like, ostensibly, we could have all the, the Mavericks that we're fighting now, all the Reploids we're fighting now, could be the same Reploids, could be the same Dr. Wily bots from the very first Mega Man. Like, they age, they develop errors. So why doesn't Sigma, because from what I understand, the Sigma virus is still responsible for what's going on in, like, the end of the Mega Man timeline, in, like, Mega Man Legends and all that stuff. So why is is Wily just the better programmer, but also unethical as hell? I think this is definitely. You save a copy of the pristine AI of the Reploid when you reload him; all his experiences are gone. Right, but and and then if you if you copy him at the end of his life before he's destroyed, then the errors pile up. But why can't Sigma? Like why isn't Sigma degrading? If Sigma died to zero, his DNA soul either would have been destroyed or saved somewhere else. Well, no, not if he died to zero, but before saving zero. So, if he hadn't awoken zero, right, then he wouldn't have been infected by the Wily virus. The virus doesn't care about the innate personality of the Reploid, it's just a viral imperative. No, not planner, programmer. Because Sigma, infected by the Wily virus, doesn't seem to degrade over time. And that's, that's where I start to, to get confused. Is that, that, I mean, the reason why a normal Reploid couldn't do that is because either you'll wipe away their personality every time, or, and experiences every time, or you'll just pile up all the errors that, that pile up over time. But Sigma seems to have neither of those problems. He remembers everything that's happened in the previous games, and yet somehow he also doesn't seem to degrade. So is he, if he's somehow immune to having these errors pile up, then that means that he was programmed in a way that doesn't create these errors. They would never found Zero, none of the Maverick Wars would have ever happened. I mean, maybe. But then, when Zero did wake up on his own without Sigma's help, he would have still been infected by the Wily virus. Right? So he still would have had that happen. Sig uh, Sigma would never have been in infected, but Zero still would be. I mean, I could see how Sigma's personality might not be preserved from iteration to iteration because it's not his... It's not his personality anymore at any point that we've seen him, right? It's it, 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 it's just the Wily virus which has become the Sigma virus and anonymous. So it's just the viral imperative that's making his what we might call personality. Oh, it's because of the X timeline, it looks like the games take place over a relatively short period of time. Right. But he's also destroyed three, four, five times. Like, destroyed a lot. Not enough for his personality to get shot to hell through aging. Sure, but then in, like, the Legends timeline, the Sigma virus still exists, right? Which is supposedly, like, millions of years in the future? Isn't it? 
And by that point, he's definitely had time to either age or just be shot the shit a thousand times. There's a combo of Zero and Sigma that would have been a different outcome if it different replica. Right, then it wouldn't be the Sigma virus, but it would still be the Wily virus. I mean, the virus would still exist. It would just be a different virus. I mean, then it would become the, the Zero virus, which is kind of also what's responsible for everything. Isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't really... I'm not really familiar with this. I'm, I'm like, legitimately asking questions. Because... I don't know. I loved these games, but I played them as a kid when I didn't care about the lore. Now, I find the lore fascinating. Like, just the idea of, of these AI and, and how they age and progress and how they how they affect one another and how, how, how exactly Sigma is able to just eat himself out of bodies, right? And somehow still survive, even though not having any physical form in which to inhabit? Well, that's... that's wild. I mean, in today's world, it could work. Like, he really could. In today's world. He has to be backed up somewhere. Not anymore, he wouldn't. And this was told in the future, so it's entirely possible there was a wireless network going on in, in these games that... which we know that there is later on. Uh, but there's no, there's nothing to say that there isn't one going on right now. He could literally just be uploading himself in the moment of destruction. Like, via Wi-Fi. Just, like, really advanced Wi-Fi. Right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But that's just, that's just me, like, thinking way too much about a very simple game, like... These games didn't need to have a ton of... Not wiped out until X. I mean, he's destroyed several times. Yeah, he's not... Oh, so... Uh... Until X8... Um... I think that's where the Mega Man X games end, isn't it? Like, where... Uh, the Legacy Collection. Anyway. But yeah, I'm going to have to grab some water real quick. I'll be right back. Um, and then we're going to run this last battle. And then we'll sign off. All right, so give me just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back and I have water. So, it sounds like the idea is that by the end of the games that I've already gotten on Steam for us to, to stream all of them, we're going to be able to wipe out Sigma? Is that what you're telling me? That sounds like what you're telling me, and I do like that idea of just being able to, to tell the whole Sigma arc. Just one game after the next. I do like that. And we're going to need to get some information on um, Mega Man X4. Because I have never played that before. I have never played any Mega Man newer than X3. Yeah, Mega Man 8 is the whole Sigma arc. The X8 is the whole Sigma arc. Closing of it, rather. Perfect. Does... So... I know that there are Mega Man games after Mega Man X8. I think there continue to be Mega Man X games, but I'm not entirely sure. Is Me Does Mega Man X still exist after X8? Like, not as the character, but like, does Mega Man X... Like, the games, do they still star Mega Man X, specifically? Not just a Mega Man, because, like, I know that the classic Mega Man games were all Mega Man, and then these are X. X4 is really fun. I like it. I hope so. This one I found a little bit frustrating. It was more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Throw up some Stream Raiders. This will be our last one of the night. 
for Mega Man eight, uh, 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 X8 on the Mega Man Zero series on GBA. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing GBA. But, so... So, X8 is the last Mega Man game starring X? Is that correct? Ooh, wifey. Vicious. Yeah, X8 was the last one. That's the last one starring X. Yeah, because X is the bad guy for the Mega Man Zero games. Ooh. Alright, somebody gets 200 coins. I get a... Uh, wish I could give you guys more coins. It looks like Wifey got those coins, and that's going to be the... Uh, that's going to be the end of Stream Raiders tonight. Uh, we'll be back here on Friday, and we'll be playing Mega Man X4, which I'm told I'm going to enjoy quite a bit. I really hope that that is true. Trash Man, I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> X X8 is the last game where you can play as X. That, that sucks. Although, I'll be honest, I like Zero better. I've always liked Zero better. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, so that's me tonight. It doesn't make a lot of sense for me to start X4 already, but uh, we will be back here Friday at 2 p.m. That's five hours ago, but on Friday. Um, so I'm in I'm in Central Time Zone. I think that's GMT minus five. I'm not entirely sure. Mega Man Zero games like uh, uh, are like fucking Dark Souls. They're nightmares. Okay, I that that's definitely a good reason why I am not playing them. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on Friday. Have a fantastic evening. Bye bye. <laughs>